Hey everyone, happy Sunday. And I'm excited to bring you this week's lineup. And that was a tutorial of doing a neutral smoky eye. Um, and it's so easy to do. And this same technique you can use to do a more impactful smoky eye. It's all based on the colors, but the technique is still the same. So we're gonna hop into this and I'm gonna share with you what we're doing. We're gonna be using a combination of colors. And as I go along, um, we're gonna talk be talking about an eye wash, um, a little bit of accent color on the lid, and then of course the crease color. I've already done my makeup. Hey, Caroline, I've already done my makeup, so the only thing that's left is my eyes. And you can see being so fair skin and so fair complected that without eye makeup, my face just really does kind of wash away. So I love the fact that with some neutral colors, I can kind of just bring a little bit of life to my face and to, to my eyes. It is finally feeling like fall here in Eastern North Carolina. Carolina, so he's excited to pull out a cozy sweater today, and now it's got me in the mood to do this tutorial. So I'm going to pull the camera kind of close to me, so um, brace yourself, ladies. <laughs> it's going to get a little close because I really want you to have a good idea of what I'm doing. And I also have a smaller mirror over to um, my left side. It's going to look like you're right based off the camera. And that is so I can see up close as I'm doing some detail work. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to begin by doing an eye wash across the lid. And by the way, who else has crazy like fall and winter hair? In the summertime, I go to bed and I wake up and it's flat as can be. And then in the fall and winter, it just goes crazy. And I'm definitely having a crazy hair day today. So um, anyway, it's day two. I didn't wash it. But I did use my dry shampoo and got some great volume. All righty. Hey, Christine. So we're going to start with an eye wash, and I'm going to use Dazzle. I'm wearing kind of a brown heathered sweater, so I want to play off some of these rich tones in my sweater. And we're going to start with this neutral color called Dazzle. It's very much flesh toned. And I'm going to tap some into the lid of my jar. It's a loose mineral, and some ladies are afraid of working with loose minerals, but I find that they're so much easier to blend with. Uh, it's just so much easier to work with as a whole. What I'm doing is I'm taking my eyebrow, my eyeshadow brush, and I'm just making sure that it's nice and clean, that there's no excess um, pigment on there from the last time that I applied my makeup. So I'm going to pick some up onto the brush and I'm just going to apply this on the lid and I'm going to go up about that high. So I'm not going right next to the eyebrows. I'm leaving a little bit of space in there. And you really should be leaving space between um, right about, oh, here is about where I stop. And I leave a little space because it acts as a natural highlight. And it just looks better than pushing um, eyeshadow product all the way against uh, next to the brows. That actually ends up looking very unnatural. So we want to go more for a really neutral, natural, smoky eye. And we're going to do this other eye coming across. So this is, again, it acts as an eye wash and just kind of the base for our, our neutral, uh, smoky eye. Okay. Next step is we are going to work on dropping a little bit of pigment right from here about over to midway point. And I'm going to use our seashell. This is a little bit deeper than the Dazzle, but it has some iridescence to it. It's really pretty, very attractive color. And many times I'll just wear Dazzle and seashell and go out the door. Um, but this is going to be something that gives the eye a little bit of dimension and a little bit of interest. So I've switched brushes. I'm now using our crease brush and um, it does such a good job. And what I'm gonna do before I start just pushing it all over the lid, I'm actually going to start patting this onto the lid, going about halfway over. I need to look in here because when I look in the camera because it's backwards, it, it messes me up. So you guys can just follow along. You can see I'm kind of going up into the crease and coming down and going about halfway over on the lid. So right about where the pupil is, I'm patting this in really gently. So you can see a little bit more definition is beginning to start right there. And I'm gonna do the other eye here coming over, patting a little bit. And I like to pat this product on first. I, I like to control where it goes because if I just start rocking it back and forth, it's going to go in places that I don't want it to go. So let me pull my hair back a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. 
We should have put on a headband. Okay, so I've got that color on there. Add just a little bit more right here in the center. And when working with the minerals, less is more. Just, you know, it doesn't take much color to have impact. A lot of people think that a smoky eye has to be super, super heavy, and it doesn't it is all, at all. Hey, Carly. It doesn't have to be heavy at all for it to be impactful and really just bring out your own natural beauty. I say that, you know, the most beautiful women in the world, I think, are ones that um, you don't notice their makeup, but you just notice them and their personality. So that's the whole goal. Now, many days, this is it. I would put on eyeliner and a little bit of mascara, and I'd be fine with this. But I'm going to show you how to step this up for a nighttime um, neutral smoky eye. And this is going to be the color that really brings everything to life. This is amaretto. And it's this really beautiful deeply pigmented brown. It's very rich in color, very pretty. And I, I tell you, it looks great on all skin tones. And most browns do. Most browns are that just beautiful neutral palette that most women can wear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my shadow brush because I really am going to pinpoint where I'm putting this. I'm not putting it all over the eye, but in a specific area. So I'm taking my brush and I'm just dipping this in and picking it up right at the tip of the brush. I'm going to knock off the excess Again, going with that philosophy that less is more. I'm going to look in the mirror for this because this is very detailed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just kind of going from the edge of the eye into the crease. And I'm going to bring a little bit, imagine a V laying on its side. That's kind of what I'm going to be doing right here. And then in the center of that V, I'm just going to give it a little dot of color right there. Now, ladies, I'm going to be blending this, but I like to first apply in a short, almost like stippling a painting. If, you, if you're a painter or an artist, you know, when you're going to paint a canvas, when dropping color onto that canvas, you really want to be careful because you don't want it to go in all over the place. It's the same technique. So very impactful right now, but don't worry, we're gonna blend. But I've controlled where I want it to go. And you've noticed I've gone up above the crease just a little bit because it gives the eye that natural lift. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the blending brush. This is an amazing brush. All of our brushes are amazing, but this in particular is great for helping with creating a smoky eye. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna start, let me pull this back. We're going to get right into this and go in little circles and start to blend everything out. Now I'm going to begin kind of rocking that back and forth very gently. I'm going to use a combination of rocking and blending. Now I'm going to use the side of the brush just to soften this edge right here. And then to clean up the edge and make it, you can see it's nice and soft. It's a little bit deeper than this other side. And honestly, if I wanted to deepen it up some more, I could. I'm going to give it just a little bit more impact right here. Just a little bit. Okay, great. So now I'm to make sure that the edge of this is clean, I'm going to take our blending sponge. And I'm just going to pull it up and fan it out. Oh, don't worry, Carly. No worries. No worries at all. I do that all the time, too. If it's a sad post and someone posts something that's sad, a lot of times I'll want to you know, put a sad face and I accidentally do the same thing. I think we all do. Okay, so that... Oh, thank you, Carly. I appreciate it. Okay, so now we've got this one eye done. And once I get the liner on and the... Um, the mascara on, it's really going to pop. Now I'm going to come over here and do this side, kind of using the same exact method. We want it to be even. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right about where the pupil would be, and I'm just going to drop the product on. And honestly, I'm moving really slow. It doesn't normally take uh, a long time to do. I should have put hairspray on today because it is a hot mess express with this hair. 
Okay, so I'm bringing it down, kind of bringing it over, and then putting a little bit, again, if you can imagine a V laying on its side, um, and this is the point of the V, it goes this way and down this way. There, If you leave that hole right in this section, um, it looks a little bit weird when you blink. You want a little bit of color in that spot, kind of like in the tip of the V right here. So I tend to drop a little bit of pigment right there. And then we're going to end up blending all of this together. Okay, so we've got our blending brush, and we're going to go back here, starting in little circles just to kind of pull all the colors together. And then I usually start rocking it back and forth, blending everything out. And then I like to lay this on the side and then just soften this edge right up here really softly, blending that kind of out. And then we'll use our sponge and just clean up the edge. Okay, so now we've done the hardest part of a smoky eye. And I'm going to apply, um, I could either use the amaretto as a shadow and pull some down, but I'm first going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. And then at the end, I'll probably bring just a little bit of that amaretto down here. But first, I want to get some eyeliner on. And I need to sharpen my liner. If you've ever used um, our liners, when you first get them, they're sharpened to really, really hard, fine point. Just hit it with your blow dryer, a little heat from your blow dryer for about 20 or 30 seconds and it softens up. And then what I like to do is just rub it back and forth on my wrist because it glides based off your body oils. That gets it started and you only have to do that one time and they just do a great job. So when I go to line my eye, I always gently pull the skin back on the eye and I start over here at the edge and I just tuck it as close as I can to the lash line. I don't go all the way to the tear duct, but close. So right about there. So I don't want a super heavy line with this smoky eye because the idea is you want everything to be kind of blended and no really harsh lines. And then we're going to go underneath and bring this down. And now I'm not going on the waterline. The reason I don't like to put product on the waterline, number one, when you blink, the tears will wash that away. So what I like to do is I tuck right underneath those lashes as close as I can. And now, let's see where it is. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in with an angled liner brush, and I'm going to pick up more of that amaretto. And I'm just going to kind of blend this color, a little bit of that deeper crease shadow in there. So we'll go ahead and pull back. It's going to kind of go right along there and a little bit down into here softening up that look and that helps pull some of that color down this is a very fancy eye for daytime but if you have a daytime event and you are getting dressed up i like to go with a neutral eye for daytime and at nighttime i might pull in plums or grays or even like a deep navy Now going under again, right under the lashes, just right next to the edge. And you're gonna find that your liner, when you do this, it stays a lot longer. And then we'll go back. Whoop. Knocking things around. The wind is really howling today. But it feels kind of cool because it feels more like fall. And we're just gonna, again, with a little bit of that shadow color from the crease, I'm going to bring it down. I go about halfway. I'm not very heavy handed down here. I'm just kind of, again, want everything to have like a nice soft color, well blended, no harsh lines, just very gentle looking. Okay, so last step is 
a little bit of mascara. And if you guys have not used our mascara, it's organic. It's amazing. Completely, completely safe. If you're contact lens wearer, if you have sensitive eyes, I will tell you this, this product um, really changed everything for me. After going through breast cancer treatment, I lost all my lashes. And when they did come back, they were really short and really stubby and they're very light in color now. Um, and over the course of using this after three months, my lashes really started to thicken up and grow. So I, I'm totally a fan of this mascara. And that's one of the products that I think I was the hardest on. Um, like I had to meet a really high threshold for me and I absolutely love it. And one of the things I do, because when you get this mascara, it comes with a little straight wand. I'll give it a little bend right about here. And it just kind of, I like that because it mimics the actual shape of the eyelid and I can get closer to the base of the lashes. So I've got the product here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the base of the lashes, wiggle back and forth. And that helps drop the product on. And you can either pull through, I think most women kind of pull and blink at the same time to apply the mascara. And I do like to work with this mascara while it is still damp for a second coat. You can see that I'm just, I just keep working with it and working with it. And I'll do one eye, I'll pop over to the other. And it's actually tinted with coffee extract and thickened with rice protein. Really cool. We also have a brown, if you prefer that. I know a lot of blondes tend to prefer brown mascara, although I think black can be look can look very impactful. Okay, and I'm gonna come over one more time on the right side. And it's still pliable when it's wet. That's why I like to work with it. I really can get those super long lashes with that second coat. Most days, though, I am a one coat girl and out the door. But if I'm going to bother to do a smoky eye, we'll give them that extra little bit. And then anything that's left over, I'll just touch the bottom lashes lightly. And then same thing over here. Let's go ahead and get that second coat going. All right, there we are. Now I'm really fancy for today. I've got very fancy eyes for today, but it's just a really cool look, um, very impactful. And um, if you're looking to kind of go a little bit deeper, maybe you're go wanting to go into the, the grays for nighttime or a navy, um, or maybe you wanna go into the plum family, really easy to do. And the technique is exactly the same. And so again, just to recap, the colors that I used were Dazzle as an eye wash, Seashell, and then I deepened the entire look with Amaretto using black liner and black mascara. Thanks so much for joining me today. I know I've got a lot of ladies that placed an order yesterday. I was offline completely yesterday. We had an event at our home for my husband, and so that kept me occupied all day until the evening. It was also homecoming for my son, so it was a busy day. So I'm gonna be catching up on emails, and um, don't forget that we do have um, my Heather's Fall Favorites giveaway where I am giving away two gorgeous shadows and that is let me grab them our new twilight and our Bordeaux shadow along with um, my very favorite new Cabernet lipstick in it which is just a gorgeous shade 
so pretty. This is just gorgeous. So it's really, it's incorporating all the looks of fall. So um, if you place an order tonight, you've got up until 7 p.m. and it's an order of $59 or more. Your name's going to go into a drawing and I'll be back live tonight at uh, probably about 7.15 to draw a winner. Thanks so much for joining. We'll see y'all later.